Hey guys, it's Rob here at the Video Gadgets Journal and what I'm going to do in this video is kind of like a first walkthrough, run through of iREC using it for the first time. I've installed it but I've not actually run it. So I'm going to experience the application firsthand as you might do if you first install the application and run it. So let's see what's available in this iOS screen recorder. Does it compare to Airshow? Or is it going to be an ever busted flush like BB Recorder and Video, in my opinion, anyway? So I'll launch the application. And the first thing it does is ask me some about notifications, whether I like them or want them. And I will say yes. And now it's just giving me a few instructions that I need to name a recording before I start the recording, which seems fairly obvious to me. Terms and conditions, which you'll have to agree to and we're into the application after this. Now, before I do anything else, I must stress that this is a soft launch, and what that means is that the developers are really sending this application out to be used by people like me to test it and feedback on whether there are any issues. So it could be that this is not the final product that you use in a few weeks or months, and it's just the start of something that's good, but we'll have to investigate and see what's available. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the settings. So we have resolution, which uh, comes in 480p, 720p, 1080p, and actual size. We'll leave it at actual size. And uh, when I finish the recording, we'll have a look at the video resolution on a computer and see what the resolution output is. Frames per second. As resolution increases, so does the quality of the recording, but the cost of more internal memory and frames per seconds are just the smoothness and fluidity of the recording. So I think in this one, let's just crank everything up to maximum just to see what happens. So I've got it on actual resolution on an iPad mini 4 retina display. So it should be high resolution and 60 frames a second. And now we look at audio. And this is something of particular interest for many of you who want to record your screen, but not have background noise such as your voice or I don't know, someone washing the dishes in the background or kids playing. You just want it to record pure sound. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try device recording. And what this has done in previous screen recorders is it's recorded the sound, but actually not outputted the sound to the speakers. So you can't hear anything when you're recording, which kind of defeats the object a bit. So we'll see if our iRec is any different in that regard. And I'm gonna leave a sample rate and the channels uh, the same. So we'll tap done on the settings and we'll begin a recording, see what happens. So you have to type in a recording name and I'll simply call it test. Press done and at this point it asks if I'm going to confirm the name of a recording, which I am, yes. And that seems to automatically jump us into the airplay part of the process. So it looks as if the recording functionality is the same as Airshow, BB Record and Video in that you have to kind of do a fake mirroring of your screen recording by swiping up to get the control center, AirPlay, and the name of it seems to be XBMC Game Box. Not quite sure why that is, but we'll tick it. And with any luck, that should start a recording. It does, you can see now the red bar at the top. So it's recording, and I'm assuming that it's going to record sounds, but not my voice. So the best thing probably to test this is to load up a game. So we'll do Clash of Clans. And I do have the speakers up, I'm sure of it, but I can't hear anything coming from the speakers. So let's just adjust the sound. The sound is at full, but I'm not hearing anything. Another interesting thing to note is that it didn't ask me whether I wanted to record in portrait or landscape. So I'm just going to tilt the screen. Well, I can't do that in Clash of Clans. I'm just being an idiot there. So we'll close Clash of Clans. Oh, so it, we have tilted the orientation there. So it'll be interesting to see whether it just automatically starts recording in landscape and then struggles with the orientation moving around. And uh, we do have a notification here as well, which is interesting in itself. So if we tap back in, it still shows that it's recording. It doesn't show how long the recording has been taking place. So that's a bit unfortunate. I would like to know how long the recording length has been, but we'll stop now and see what happens. Press done, stop the recording, yes. And now we can tap on recordings and we can see that it has recorded which is good news. And if we tap on it, we probably have the options to play it, save to camera roll and share or delete. What I'll do now is I'm going to save it to camera roll and we'll have a look at the video 
in the photo gallery. So it's again asking me for an option and it's giving me an error. And it says, please make sure that you have access to the photo library, which I just told it that I wanted it to do that. And it's now saying that it's successful. So maybe it just didn't realize it had permissions on that first save. And let's now go to the photo gallery and the camera roll. And I presume it's that one. We'll press play and it's saying unsupported video format. So can it play or not? Well, that's unfortunate considering that you're recording on an iOS device and you can't play it back. So what I'm probably going to have to do at this point is copy the file onto a computer and we'll see what it looks like there. Back in a second. Here are some of the video properties then. The video is at 70 seconds in length and it's 8 meg in size. You'll notice that the frame width and height are above 1080p, which is looks to be retina size to me. The data transfer rate is lower than what we might see in Airshow, but the frame rate is right up there at 60 frames a second. And this is the video recording copied onto a computer and then put into a PC editor. First thing to notice, no sound. You can't hear me talking as it would have picked up in the microphone in previous screen recorders, but you can't hear anything from the game either. Well, you can't yet. That's where the audio track currently is on the video. Loading up the Clash of Clans splash screen was about 15 seconds behind the video itself. And now even though the video is stopped, you can still hear game noises in the background and the video carrying on. And this is really strange because the video carries on for another 70 seconds with just blank, black, dead air. I'm just cycling through again now to show you that the video records in landscape aspect ratio, but the orientation is in portrait, so you might have to change that in a video editor. I'm not sure that could be my video editor that's doing that, but when I did play it just on the computer, on a media player, it was looking in portrait. So basically, from first impressions, this is certainly still in development phase. I will say that I need to maybe change the settings and tone down some of the aggressive parts of the recording, such as the resolution and the frames per second to see if I do get any better performance. But as it stands, it's not really fit for purpose. But I'm not going to hold this against the developers. I'm actually hoping they watch this video and take some information from it and maybe they can work on fixing the issues for when it's released to the general public. So I'm going to go away and do some more testing on iRec to see if I can find an acceptable level of performance. And if you have this application now, please do post in the comments below on your feedback and your experiences to see if it is kind of device specific, the issues I'm experiencing. And if you want me to do any tests, then by all means, pop them in the comments below as well. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.